We're going to show you an irresistible force being called into action. Their mission to help American heroes return home. And their magic touch is hitting the heart. ABC Steve Ozansami. We traveled to Fort Bragg to search for this lieutenant colonel we've heard so much about who's doing wonders to convince soldiers home from the war to come in and stick with counseling. And here she is, all of five years old, and a German shepherd named Lexi. And that's why she's good, you know? Helping warriors like Staff Sergeant Dennis Swoles. Honestly, the first time I killed someone, I cried. And I never went and got help. I thought it was a natural thing. After seven tours fighting the enemy, he's now fighting post-traumatic stress disorder. It took the friendship of these military therapy dogs to get him past his pride and in the door. You think she's made a difference? Without a doubt. I could tell a story, I could cry, I could do anything, and she's not going to judge me. The dog. The dog. Today, there are 2,500 dogs trained in the armed services, but these are the first used to help soldiers heal their minds. And they get started as puppies, learning to sense a soldier's distress. Yeah, very nice. These dogs are able to detect through scent yes, your emotional good state. Hubby. Good work, buddy. Mwah. Tissue. This three-year-old lab named Ron brings soldiers both tissues and comfort. The work so important, the military gives these dogs a rank. This one, a one-star general. It can comfort them, it can get them through the hard stuff, so they can keep talking, keep working through their issues. Swoles has finally worked through his. Initially, you weren't buying this dog business. No, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> but now, now I'm going to miss Lexi. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Fort Bragg.